This news broadcast brought to you by Alcoa. Support chemtrails. Buy aluminum. Okay, folks, this is Hattrick Penry. Just a little bit of fun there. Actually, we're boycotting aluminum, and we've been doing so oh, five or six months now, and I'm hoping it still gains some traction. I've made the connection between Alcoa and the uranium mining and the chemtrailing and so on and so forth. So if you're sick of your sun being blocked out, stop buying aluminum. It's really that simple. Okay, today I just briefly want to cover a couple of things. Firstly, uh, I have been referred to and mentioned on e, e News finally by Chris Harris. And I'll, I'll link to this if you guys want to read the transcription of a Nutramedical report in which Chris Harris, a former licensed senior reactor operator and engineer, is being interviewed. And he refers to my uh, collection of FOIA documents and documentation and so on and so forth. In other words, everything that everybody else, Michael Rupert, Alex Jones, all the rest of these guys chose to ignore, it's now beginning to gain traction and people realize there really is something there. So we are making a difference. I want to point that out as well. And couldn't have been possible without the help from Shazam, no doubt about it. So a big thanks to Shazam for uh, his assistance. And it just makes me that much more effective when I go online and try to promote the facts. Okay, now, what I want to cover here today, it's not going to take long. Uh, let's open up this page. Okay, this is not in particular orders it should be, but let's go in here and let's grab this one right here. Okay, notice now the date on this one, March 11th, 1024 p.m. Subject, Incident Response, Japan Earthquake and Tsunami Drill. That's correct. Again, I've already got a video up. I will link to it with a lot of good information pertaining to this particular earthquake and tsunami drill that did occur the same day coincidentally as the earthquake and tsunami. And I'll give you all the stuff you guys can look through. I'm hoping someone else is also going to write about this and do a video on it as I'm very busy finishing up my book right now but this needs to be covered if you look at all the coincidences as my last video put forth when there's shootings when there's bombings when any of these things go on there appears to be a very large chance that there's a simultaneous drill quote unquote drill occurring at the same time now the statistical probability of that happening over and over again we know that's impossible so we know there's just a couple possibilities here that we need to sort through and think through what are the possibilities is someone staging an operation around a drill they get word down, wind of a drill and then they set up their operation to coincide with a drill or is someone planning a drill and the operation alongside each other and they're they're engaged in, in, in conducting both of those at the same time and it plays into your hand we you already have your agents in the field like for instance with Fukushima when you look at this particular tsunami and earthquake drill they already had their agents in place that's why they run the drill when they use their earthquake devices their agents are already in place and they're controlling the flow of information if you look at some of the later emails like this one right here that afternoon a couple hours later at 3 or 4 p.m. they're letting people know they're saying there's been an emergency outside the United States this is not a drill this is not a drill see when I first got into these documents folks I had not seen anything about tsunami or earthquake drill. That's only recently I've, I've heard about this. It's been brought to my attention. But there was an email that started off by saying this is not a drill. And I always wondered about that. I said, why is he saying this is not a drill? Of course it's not a drill. Well, I didn't know that at the time they're simultaneously conducting an incident response, a tsunami earthquake response. They have Japanese utility execs over here. They have NAREC. They have FEMA. They have all these people. Their, their personnel are in place for this operation when they're going to use whatever technology they use to create the artificial tsunami that did so much damage to a Fukushima. It can only be so. There's no other, you know, I've tried, I've thought, I've worked this thing through and contemplated and many hours on it. There's no other possibilities, you know. The other possibility is delusion, right, and denial. That's the only other possibility. So here's proof again on the 11th. They're saying, look, this is not a drill what's happening. This earthquake and tsunami is, is, is an actual event, okay, although we know now it was not a natural event. They're using some kind of technology to go in and create these tsunami bomb or what have you. It's really that simple. It's not that complex. So here's a proof. They're letting people know, hey, this ain't a drill. I know we're conducting a drill at the same time, just like on 9-11, Vigilant Guardian. 
We're flying planes in the sky and running these hijack drills. Same thing going on with Fukushima and with Federal Building bombing, with the Oslo shooting, with the Aurora shooting, with the Boston bombing, with the Sandy Hook shooting. At least that's what I'm led to believe by my research online. Okay, here's another. I just wanted to show you subject forward. Incident response, Japan earthquake and tsunami drill. And this is a couple days later, March 13th. And they're discussing time and pay and what have you. Getting They, they want to make sure they get paid. Okay, here's another one. This is discussing a spreadsheet uh, having to do with the earthquake tsunami drill. They want to keep track of people's hours and, and what have you. But the fact is, again, it's just more evidence that they're, you know, earthquake slash tsunami drill. And let's see, there's one other here. I guess that is it right there. Just to show you that, again, this is a couple days later on the 16th. Here's on the 11th right here. This is the better one right here. Instant response, Japan earthquake and tsunami drill. That's all I can tell you about, except I can refer you to the RIC document, as I did in my other video. You can look through that and just begin to get an idea of what's going on. They are staging these drills to coincide along with the operations, okay? And there's, you know... It only boils down to one thing. There's this rogue faction or a group or oligarchs or Illuminati, if that's what you want to call them, or you know, the establishment or whatever you want to call them. Those at the very top are able to order, have these operations thought up and, and brought into reality, and then have them executed. And again, at the same time, they muddy the waters by having a drill at the same time. Like on 9-11, Dick Cheney could order a stand down because there was a possibility that there was a drill being run at the time, and those weren't real planes being hijacked. See how that plays into their hands? Plus, they have all their personnel are on site, and everything's in place as you would want. Now, if you just if you just ordered the shooting or the bombing or the tsunami or whatever, it would you could still have that event occur, but you don't have your agents in place at the time. Running it along to coincide with these drills is critical because now you have personnel who are beholden to you in particular places and in, in, in Fukushima when you look at what happened with the information control early on let's see if I've got that screen capture in this folder too this one right here it says this is not a drill and then it goes on to say you know you're going to be contacted by people asking questions foreign governments other nuclear operators scientists academia news press so on and so forth it says don't talk to anyone basically everything goes through the NRC everything goes to the operations center you're not to speak to anyone about what's happening so see they have their agents in place they clamp down on the information control as, a, as I'm sure they do in all of these operations whether it's a tsunami bomb or whether it's a shooting or bombing or what have you and very clever it's very clever and keep in mind before I go folks I don't want to be too long here um, this is very effective on the first herd and that's how I classify the main group of American citizens who get their information from mainstream rely on mainstream and even to some degree alternative is very much corrupted now as well like I say it's 950 days and Alex Jones won't touch this stuff I've written a whole book on it forwarded them all the information they are purposefully avoiding it Okay, so, and, and also I would say this as well, there's a lot of people talking Fukushima, okay, but you need to look and see, are they talking Plumegate, the cover-up? Are they exposing what happened with Unit 4? Because we've had an effect recently, the Fear and Loathing has article of mine has got a lot of traction, and it's forced Gunderson and a bunch of these other guys to backtrack and recant some of their statements, and now they're slowly admitting that yes, Unit 4 probably we're not going to recover any fuel out of it. See how that works? And it's slowly, we've drug it out of them. We drag them kicking and screaming, but we've got them basically to admit once we put all the information out, they couldn't deny it anymore. They finally slowly trickle truth. If you've noticed the last couple of weeks, it's one day an article comes out and the next day another one, and it's a little bit more admission each time. So the trickle truth after a couple of weeks, it comes out. So going into these documents was very productive for me. Uh, I was able to actually, again, like I say, I forced Alex Jones to make up some kind of report on it back in March of 2012 when I wrote Operation Mockingbird Style Alternative Media Infiltration, and I showed how Jones' little troll den shill network works. I'm like, he talks about anything and everything but this massive cover-up. He'll even talk about the meltdown. He might even say something bad about nuclear power, but he won't make the connection say, look at this huge group of people, all these agencies, all of them working together to conceal the radioactive plume from Americans, and look at us now. Cancer clusters on the West Coast, kids with thyroid problems. I mean, it, 
the cancers are really yet to show up. You're not going to be able to hide it in the next five years. It's going to be obvious. Point to what I'm saying right now, folks. Please pay attention when you're reading about Fukushima at a website, at a blog, at a figurehead, wherever you go. If they are not mentioning this cover-up that I've proven in my book, Something Wicked This Way Comes, they're not genuine. They're not genuine. It's 950 plus days in. By now, you should know about the Plume Gate cover-up. You shouldn't talk about Fukushima without mentioning that aspect. Okay, that's very critical. That is a silver bullet. So when I go to people's websites, I'm not going to mention names, but someone sent me something last night, and I go there and look. The guy talks about everything Fukushima, but he won't touch Unit 4, and he won't touch the proven cover-up in the documents known as Plume Gate. They won't touch it. And there's so many of these doing this. 95% of everyone talking about Fukushima is, has a hands-off list that they are not allowed to talk about. They can talk about anything and everything else, but Plume Gate is off the list, and you don't talk about Unit 4. And guess what, guys? I'm working on an article on Unit 3. Uh, I hate to break the news to you, but yeah, it ran dry too. I got plenty of evidence to that as well. So, all right, that's going to sum up this video. I'm going to give you these uh, screen captures. I'll give you a link to this document where they refer to the Japan earthquake and tsunami drill. And so some of you got, you conspiracy scientists need to get on this and get some articles out there and write about it. You need to patch it in. This one to the 9-11, to the Oslo, to the Aurora, to the Sandy Hook. All of those where there is a drill running simultaneously, concurrently. This needs to be promoted and we need to get this information in the public realm for the record. Okay, this is Patrick Penry. I'm headed for a cup of coffee, 7.22 a.m. I love you guys. Take care. Over and out. We need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad.